Knocked down that way by the Hawks' Owen Baker. Couldn't get it out, though. It was poked away. Now rolling back to Crotto. Sweeps it into the corner at his right. Then for Charlie behind the net, going the opposite direction to Hillman. Left boards, and he clears it. In the neutral zone, Erdman and Slice dueling. And the Hawks' Hillman is the one who comes away with it into the offensive zone. Hillman moves in, centers Baker. Tried a backhander and couldn't get the shot away. Now Slyes back the other way for Omaha. Spikes one off the boards on the right side. It goes behind the Hawk net. Chally keeps it moving counterclockwise around the glass. Takes a black Hawk bounce. Comes to Owen Baker, but his pass misses Hillman. And Salici gets it back. It's bounced toward the slot. Lawbach knocked down. Salici got it. He scores. Salici trying to get control of that puck. Just ended up sweeping it toward the net. And it surprised Emmett Prado. The Omaha Lancers strike first at 7.44 of the opening period. Vincent Salici, what should be an unassisted goal, and Omaha continues to have the best of it early in this series against the Waterloo Blackhawks. It just slipped through. Slice tangling with him. Piak shovels it into the opposite corner with Erdman pursuing, getting body position and tying it up along the wall. Hillman there too. So is Montgomery. Cardona couldn't keep it away from Erdman who now drops it back. Piak moves in and shoots off the crossbar and out. Back toward the line. Shot by Charlie. Juggled and didn't get through. It was a rolling puck as he tried. Block line on left wing. Lost it to Phelan. Then got it back. Checked in the corner by Phelan. Still drops the puck back to Shed though. Wrist shot coming. Omaha scores. It was deflected and dips getting past Prado and the Omaha Lancers have a 2-0 lead at 7.56 of the second period. Their first period goal came at 7.44. 7.56 the time of the goal in the second. Shed took the shot but it was definitely deflected. May have gone off the black lock. Most likely candidate for the Lancers if it was tipped by an Omaha stick looks to have been Kusler. We're going to give Luke Amell credit for it. So Amell tips the shot by Shed, and the officials are going to look at this to make sure that it was not redirected by a high stick. For the moment, though, 2-0 Omaha with 12.04 left to go in the second period. So he needs to see, and he'll make his call as he comes out of the penalty box. The indication is it's a good goal. And so the Omaha Lancers are on top by a 2-0 score. To the Hawks zone, drop pass, Salici. Force to the corner, and now back for Lurie behind the net, and a chance for Baker doesn't materialize. His stick broke as he tried to shoot. Two on one off the ice, Beatty with Brown. Beatty moves in, centers Brown. A backhander, open side, he scores! Here come the Hawks! Connor Brown, great setup by Zach Beatty, and Waterloo right back within one. The quick answer less than a minute after the Lancers had made it a 2 nothing lead. Brown gave a fake, went across the top of the crease, Robel bit, and it was a wide open side for Connor Brown, able to flip it in and give the Hawks their first of the night, the first goal of the weekend for him. Crossing the Lancer line, Kerr gets a step, moves in, shoots, and a save by Harabal at the post to his left, holding on with nothing. The line turning, sweeps it to Klee, sets up in the right wing corner, put it in front, he was looking for Flynn, didn't find him though. Flynn looked like he took a high stick after that one came through. Now O'Connell shoots, he scores! Here come the Hawks! O'Connell from the left face-off dot. Put one toward the net. Harabal got part of it, but could not keep it out, and the Blackhawks have leveled the score at 12-15 of the second period. If it is, in fact, O'Connell's goal, it would be his fourth of the season. And it is announced as Gavin O'Connell's tally. The Blackhawks have come back from a two-goal depth glass. Badger right of his goal. Picks it up for the Hawks, but didn't have a way out of the zone. Bouncing puck, controlled by Schumacher. Then out to center, McLean tries to dodge Shed. Comes right up the slot. He's got a breakaway. He shoots and a save by Harabal. Blocker stop. Badger. Junior A challenge. Alex Bump, the leading scorer for the Lancers with 20 points. And Gavin Lindbergh with 16 for Waterloo. Draw goes to the end boards. Klee puts it in front for Flynn. A backhander and a save. And now Waterloo scores. Flynn follows up the initial chance. Punching it past Harabal as the Blackhawks go to the lead for the first time on Oliver Flynn's go-ahead goal at 4-7, 4-0-7 of the third period. Flynn with his second of the season. 
Nice play by Klee to get it out of the left wing corner and in front. And it's Klee's second assist of the game. With the goals in succession, two in the second, one in the third, to seize the lead. Rowe and Klee for a face-off. That row wins. Quick shot. Omaha scores. Kiviolia let go of a quick one from above the right circle hash mark. And on the face-off win, the Lancers get a quick goal to tie it up. Row the assist on Kiviolia's tally at 16-12 of the third period. And it's a new game with three minutes and 48 seconds left to play. Kiviolia scored the year. Has it. Plays it back into his own zone for Smith. Fed it ahead, redirected across the Hawk line. Rowe pursuing, gets there, wants to center, hooks one in front. Crotto knocks it down, puck in front, Rowe shoots, and Crotto kicks it away with his left skate. Cardona moves into the corner with it. Down to 30 seconds left, back to the line, Kusler wrist shot, tip, and a chance in front. Crotto smothers it at the top of the crease. What a tremendous save. One more look for the Hawks, trying to catch the Lancers in a change. Hong moves into the late coming Geary. He tries for the win, and he missed the net. And it then came to Brown, and it was a rolling puck with a wide open side, and it went under Harabal when Brown got just a piece. Harabal ready, ready to go as Hong comes from his blue line. Hong picks up the puck. He's going to go from right to left on the attack. Hong across the slot. Wrist shot. He scores. Put it between Robles' pads. And the low chance beats the big goaltender, giving the Blackhawks a 1-0 edge after one shooter. Former Youngstown Phantom forward Reese Lawbach. And we'll have an opportunity. He scored in his only shootout opportunity. Takes his time getting the puck. He's going to weave. Go from left to right. Comes above the left circle. Then across the slot. Steering in front. Flips one under the crossbar to answer Hong's shootout goal. So each team has converted their shootout opportunity. Zach Beatty won it for Waterloo last Saturday. And now tries to nudge the Blackhawks back in front. Hawks going with the same order they had against the Rough Riders. Rabble deep in the net as Beatty picks up the puck and comes up the ice slowly. Now starts to accelerate through the right circle and flips one toward the net, but a blocker save by Harabal. And the Lancers can nudge in front if Vincent Salici converts this chance. The former Des Moines Buccaneer scored a goal in the game. This is his first shootout attempt of the season. Salici takes a running start and then slows as he's going to work from right to left in on Crotto on his forehand, shoots and missed the net. So both teams score in the first round, both teams denied in the second. And we're getting close to next goal and next save to settle it. Gavin O'Connell trying to give the Blackhawks that next goal. He tied it for Waterloo in period two with his fourth of the season. First shootout attempt for O'Connell this season. The UMD recruit goes in front, tried to stuff it past the left pad, and Harabal turns it away, and now Omaha can win it on this chance. The Lancers will try to take this game with an opportunity for Charlie Lurie, the former Fargo force forward. One-on-one -on -one against Emmett Prado, the game on his stick. Lancers trying for their fourth shootout win in five tries. Lurie up the ice, going to go from right to left across the slot. Shooting blocker saved by Crotto. He pulled the trigger on that from near the right circle hash mark. And we'll go to a fourth round. Miles Hillman for Waterloo. During the season, Hillman has eight goals for the Blackhawks. Fourth shootout opportunity. Miles Hillman trying to nudge the Blackhawks. Box in front in this round comes right up the slot. Wrist shot scores to the stick side. Hillman gives the Blackhawks a 2 1 lead, and the Hawks are one Emmett Crotto save away from winning an Omaha in extra time for the second time in as many trips. Drew Montgomery started the year with the Tri City Storm, the younger brother of a former Blackhawk captain. Montgomery starts from deep inside of his own zone, picks up the puck in the center dot, comes up the slot on Crotto, backhander, missed. 
Austin at Hawks win. Waterloo wins in a shootout against the Omaha Lancers. Four to three. The Blackhawks during the period without their two top scorers and without Sam Renzel at the World Junior A Challenge win three out of four games. All three of those victories in overtime or shootouts. Waterloo four. Omaha three on the conversion by Miles Hillman and Emmett Crotto stopping three of four in the shootout situation. 4-3 the official final. We'll take a timeout and come back.